What's up, sons? It's Blind Dog with Summit Tech once again, and today I have a how to video. So, essentially, I have bricked this 5600 XT, and we are going to attempt to fix it here. And we're going to have to use DOS to do it because, unfortunately, um, it won't post into any OS, of course, at this time. So, without further ado, we're going to go over that process and then get into it. Before we do, make sure you go ahead and click the join button if you want access to the Rocket Chat to talk to miners and crypto enthusiasts, you know, hassle-free, scam-free, etc. We just finished dark mode on it, so it's looking great. And it's super easy to use with desktop applications and mobile applications along with push notifications on mobile now, which we finally got working as well. So without further ado, let's get into it. Um, hopping on over to the desktop first, we are gonna need to build the USB drive. As you can see here, we have a AMD VB flash UEFI zip and Basically, if we open our folders here, if we go to our downloads, we've extracted it here and you need to show hidden files. So you'll just do folder options or file explorer options, excuse me. Click the view button and then check the option for show hidden files and click apply. Once you've done that, the EFI will be here. There's also a readme. It will basically go through the steps, format a USB stick with FAT32, copy all the files, da da da. So we have this drive. We're gonna right click and click format. And then we're just gonna make sure it's FAT32 and then you can click start and format it. I've already formatted it, so I'm not gonna go through the process. At this point, we're just gonna go ahead and cut these files and paste them over here. And then the last thing that we need to do to prep the stick is get the original BIOS. I always back up my BIOS with Hive OS. We've also showed you guys how to back up your BIOS in previous videos in uh, using Windows. Now, Hive OS just makes it super easy. So we're going to click uh, download. And this is the one that we basically tanked out. It's Samsung 5600 XT. So hopefully, I'll have a video on Samsung for you guys here if I can get it figured out. It's probably going to take me a bit because, well, clearly we've already made some mistakes. So now that we have it in our folder, I am just going to cut it and we are going to paste it onto the USB drive like so. I'm going to rename it to BIOS.ROM and the USB drive is prepped. So at this point, we're gonna move over to our test bench and get to cranking out that. So I gotta get it installed. So first things first, we're gonna go ahead and shut the PC down. All right, I'm gonna get it installed. All righty, then we're gonna just power it on and start tapping F11 to get into the boot menu. Okay, so we wanna boot to the UEFI, the USB stick. Okay, and we have AMD VB Flash up and running. So at this point, we can just run the AMD VB Flash dash I, and we have the Navi 10 GPU here, which should be correct. And then we have our BIOS. So now we want to do a force flash, if I can spell right. I swear I've done this. So it's AMD VB flash dash F dash P space zero, and then space the BIOS dot ROM and the flash is functioning properly, at least I think. And now we're gonna control alt delete and verify that it was working. Okay, I'm just gonna check device manager here and we no longer have the red X next to the 5600 XT. So that pretty much wraps it up. It's that simple. We'll have links to the media fire download. Like I said, make sure you do show hidden files. Make sure you copy all of those to a USB drive. And uh, this was actually done with the 6900 XT in the other slot. So this Eufy version is working a lot better than the executable version. Anyways, pretty straightforward. I just wanted to have a video out showing you guys how to do that real quick because I just needed to do it. And then look forward to me playing with this card until I figure out how to get it hashing at 43 mega hash a second like the microns. And I'll see you next Tuesday.